thanks for joining us here on How to Wedding. And today we're joined by Jamie Spellerberg of Wilderland Floral. Jamie, yeah. thanks for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks here. for having me. All right, well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah, so um, I am a studio-based florist, and so I predominantly just work with weddings and events, um, as well as doing classes and hands-on experiences for people who are looking to get into floral as well. So uh, I, I've worked with tons of couples over the last 10 years. I've done floral working with other companies, um, and I just recently branched out and started my own company this past year. So really excited to, to get connected and uh, work with a lot of different people this, this year. For sure. Awesome. And what would you say is your style? Like, do you have a specific, like, I really like working with these or anything like that? Like, what, 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 what would you define yourself as your style? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my style is a little bit different than what most florists do. I do a lot of foraging. Uh, so a lot of the elements that I incorporate are um, things that grow naturally here in Minnesota, things that uh, I, I might incorporate branches or twigs or different um, like woodland elements into my bouquets and centerpieces uh, and that's something that really sets me apart from from other florists is I like to use a lot of texture and greenery and uh, those types of natural elements in my designs all right awesome and speaking of your designs you have yeah. an awesome bouquet here today yeah brought which is a with. nice little segment to what we wanted to talk about today which is how to hold the bouquet throughout the yes. wedding day because that's something that all the time you mm -hmm. see brides they're just like wait how am I supposed to do this and you know like all the different things yeah, and part lot, of that is like here. yeah a part of that is like with some of the poses they're trying to get put up right. but just in general and, and I guess it even goes with bridesmaids and anyone holding a flower mm -hmm. is what how are you supposed to hold that flower so that it looks best no matter what's happening yeah absolutely so uh, first First, to kind of get into this, I'm going to show how not to hold it sure. and how I've, I've predominantly, I've probably been holding it wrong, <laughs> but uh, I, I'll show you just the ways that, that commonly people hold them and then try to instruct on how the best placement of hands and how to get those best shots. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be looking at those videos, the photos. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that in those those things that um, you're seeing the best best of what, what you're purchasing, which is... For, for floral, it's always the bouquet. Right, exactly. <laughs> so um, a lot of times when I see uh, a brides, I always like to instruct them on how, how to hold their bouquets. The first thing that you hand off at the, in the morning. Um, and so as far as incorrect ways, uh, <laughs> here are the ways that I've seen it before. First is uh, people like to hold it straight armed. It just... Mm -hmm. it, Sometimes it can be a heavy bouquet, I understand. Right. <laughs> so it's just kind of a relaxing thing. But the downside is, is it really, um, it accentuates your arms and it, it makes the focus lower than what you probably want in a photo, mm -hmm. which is a lot of times the bodice, the detail of the dress. And so opposite, a lot of times people hold it up here. Right. Yep, yeah, <laughs> and, that's, a, that's a big one that yes, I see. Yes, <laughs> and, and a lot, and that can be like a security thing. You're hiding behind something, walking down the aisle, arm in arm with someone. It's a little bit easier just to hold it up. But again, you're, you're losing the detail in the dress. So you're mm -hmm. not seeing, uh, this is the first look for for your um, your friends and family to see you. So you want to make sure that, that you're really making an impact. Mm -hmm. um, so that the correct way is to hold it where your hands are kind of your, your elbows are by your hips um, and think of aligning the bouquet with your belly button yes and so uh it's it and it it can be easy for people to kind of tilt it towards themselves because you want to see the bouquet too yeah, sure. <laughs> but uh that's also incorrect okay okay because <laughs> as you can see from the front you're really only getting the the stems and kind of the the underside of the bouquet is what people are seeing. Sure. So to correctly hold the bouquet, you kind of get your, your elbows in, kind of resting by your hips, bouquet by your belly button, and then just tilt it forward a little bit. And that really, as you can see, gets that, um, the, the top view, the, yeah. the whole aspect of the bouquet. And you're not you're not hiding behind it. You're sure. not holding it too low. It's just kind of a nice, relaxed. Okay. Um, hold. Okay. Yeah, and I like that because a lot of people and even photographers they'll say hold it at your belly button, but I haven't heard too many of them say and tilt it and outwards. tilt it forward. Yeah, yes. and because that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And now with a bouquet like this, um, obviously you have this nice ribbon here hanging. Yes. That kind of indicates to them of like, okay, have this ribbon out at the front. Like this is the front. Absolutely. What if you don't have a ribbon indicating that? Is there exactly. some way on most bouquets anyway? Because obviously some might be designed that there isn't necessarily a front or back but yeah. in general is there something like that that people can keep in mind yeah absolutely so uh, i would say as a floral designer when you create a bouquet that you're always in the back of the mind you're always thinking of what's the front what's mm -hmm. the best part uh, when i'm designing i'm constantly turning it just to make sure <clears throat> that we get 
the best view is for the front for everybody who's going to be seeing it sure. on, on camera and photo as well. Um, and so if your uh, floral designer doesn't tell you, um, normally they should. <laughs> uh, but how I normally do it is, and this, this is different for different floral designers, sure. but uh, to wrap the ribbon, there's always these uh, little pins that I stick in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I always make sure those are facing out. Other okay. floral designers will say they, they face towards you. So sure. it, it's not a 100% right. rule of thumb, but yeah. as far as... Uh, when I talked it with clients, I just say, make sure the buttons are facing out. You can always feel them with your hands. Yep. So you, if you are holding it, you can like, oh, I can feel the buttons. That, and that's it, what I was just going to say. it perfectly aligns yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's a great thing to make sure um, for, for clients uh, to make sure you're asking your floral designer, what's the front of the bouquet going to be and how can I tell? Sure. Because um, okay. sometimes people pick them up and, and the floral designer isn't dropping them off. So it's, it's definitely an important conversation to have with your florist okay. ahead of time. All right. Awesome. Very cool. And any yeah. other tips uh, with holding or is that kind of like yeah. in general, like, is there anything like one handed that like maybe to keep in mind when they're doing that? Yeah. So there's also some informal shots just um, when you're posing with your photographer or videographer that they'll often tell you that there's down by the side. Um, it's important when you're holding your bouquet. I'll kind of turn here to sure. not hold it too low because mm -hmm. you're it, first of all, you're just not getting a good grip on it. Um, also, it's always more natural just to, if you hold it with just like your, your point your finger and your thumb, just kind of let it be loose. That's exactly where you're going to want to hold it with one hand or two is towards the flowers. Um, oftentimes there's going to be a ribbon that's going to be wrapped around it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that'll be an indicator where the hand goes. So just okay. if you're doing one handed, just make sure it's up towards the top. And a lot of times for those in ca those uh, casual um, photos, it, just to kind of tilt it sideways, sometimes you do want photos of the stems and those sure. are the more artistic. Mm -hmm. But always just to uh, be make sure when, when you're doing that, um, that, that you want to have that elongated arm because kind of stopping it here, it just, it feels less natural. So sure. um, uh, that's something that you can definitely rely on your photographer for, mm -hmm. a videographer. They'll, they'll be able to instruct um, the brides and grooms on how to hold bouquets and things like that. Sure. But as far as walking down the aisle, remember hands up at your belly button and tilt forward. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. So thanks again, Jamie. We're going to have some links down below on how you can get a hold of Jamie and Wilderland Floral. Again, thanks a lot, Jamie. Great tips for today. Thanks for having me, Travis. <laughs>